Philly Sports Era, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the Phillies. The Phillies on a potential return or a resume date. A um, couple few points we're going to go over today. Um, it's going to spark a lot of discussion in the comments um, and in your brain. So make sure you guys go put that in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, follow my Instagram, Philly Sports Era. And let's get right into so the my video. My number one concern about this pause, and if the season ever does return, which I think it will, it's just getting the right agreement for all these greedy players and owners. I'm sorry I have to use that word, but it's starting to come to that point. So my one question is, what's going to happen with all the expiring contracts? Like, what's going to happen with Didi Gregorius? He signed a one-year deal. What's going to happen with JT Romuto? What's going to happen with Jake Arrieta? Like, Jake Arrieta, we couldn't, we didn't have a chance to see if he's going to have that better year. He had that bone spur surgery later. Um, he was looking okay in spring training, looking much better than he has been. Um, so, are we going to be able to see Jake Arrieta? I mean, I think what will happen is we'll probably, if the season doesn't start, we'll just probably keep the same contracts because... It really wouldn't make sense because these guys want to spend like millions on players and they didn't get the chance to see them play. So that's probably what will happen. So that can kind of solve itself, but still very concerning. Um, we're going to like stick him with the JT Romuto. That's really scary for me because JT, obviously the best catcher in baseball, the best defensive catcher. Well, he can hit home runs, he can get hits. Um, at some points last time, he was one of the best hitters on the Phillies, if not the one of the best offensive players on the Phillies last year. Obviously, he's going to want a big paycheck. I mean, he's the best catcher in baseball. Usually, the best players out of position are probably the best paid. Um, so, obviously, I think that JT Romuto is worth the paycheck. He infects the, e the Phillies in so many ways that we literally have to spend the money. There's one thing we should do, 100%, is to sign JT Romuto. There's no question about it. Um, I mean, at, like, going on, it's it's starting to become a little bit of a greedy, greedy type situation for these owners and players. At the beginning, when there was still discussions going on, I'm like, I mean, yeah, player safety does matter, but then I start, like, a couple days later, the pay cuts start coming in. These owners are making billions of dollars. Baseball is the most valuable sport. So these owners that own these clubhouses, they own these awesome stadiums, billionaires. And they're worried. I mean, yeah, 100 million, 10 million is a lot of money. It is. I'm not, I'm not going to act like that's not a lot of money for them because you're still losing that amount. But you're going to make that money back. You're going to make it back. And with these players, especially these young players, you're going to get another contract. So if I were them, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to get onto that field. And I'm going to prove that I'm worth more. And then the money that you lose, you're going to make up in a big contracts. And why wouldn't you want to play the sport you love? Like, yeah, 10%. Like, with Bryce, he's going from $26 million to about, what, $12 million dollars. Oh, that's so much. $12 million. You're going from $26 million down to $12 million. It's, you're, you're still making $12 million. I mean, the, and these owners. Billions. Billions of dollars. And they're worried about losing money, which they can gain back in a couple years. And with this Phillies team, we made a lot of improvements to the one of our biggest holes. We filled a lot of bullpen gaps. I mean, not really, actually, but... You know, with the starting rotation's getting better. Um, I mean, the best bullpen guy we got is Sir Anthony. He's going to have Tommy John surgery. David Robinson, I don't know when he's going to come back. Um, I mean, Adam and Joseph and Tommy Hunter are back, but they're average players. The only guy we really have is Francisco Liriano. He's, like, the only all-star we have in there that's healthy. But moving on. Um, yeah, they're being greedy. These millionaires, billionaires. Oh, I mean, come on. Okay. Um, now, as I, I mentioned earlier, like, player safety. Now, I was brainstorming. I'm like, 
Okay, so it's baseball. You know, everyone's dispersed along the field. I mean, you got first guy, and there's there's feet, there's yards between them. You're not near anyone. I mean, maybe when you're at first base and second, and first base, and someone gets a hit, and you move the first base for like a single, then yeah, you get a little bit closer. But that's where the mask would come in. You would wear a mask. Um, you know, you customize the mask. You can make them your team colors. It'll be kind of cool. Um, so. That player safety would be a little bit of concern there, but in in the dugout, I mean, if you guys just split up in the dugout, you only let a couple guys at once, maybe. Guys sit in the clubhouse, and when they're up, the, guy, the TV's on the screen, oh, you're on deck, go up. That could work, too. Just make sure you guys are socially distancing in the clubhouse. Um, so that could be pretty easily solved, in my opinion. And also, before... Um, you enter and when you leave you get like your temperature you might take a test and when you guys enter the hotel for away games then you guys do the same protocol so that player safety could be solved pretty easily in my opinion so um, and dream scenario my dream scenario is to start before the 4th of July you guys need need baseball on 4th of July you need to you're just you're disappointing America so much at this point like, baseball, sadly, is little... It's falling behind the race of basketball and football. and You're, you're slowly falling behind. Um, especially with me. I'm starting to like hockey a lot. I really am. And baseball is starting to just go in the back of my memory. If I think there's another game on, I might even watch it more than the Phillies. But other than that, dream scenarios start July 4th. Still a little, like, like two weeks, three weeks in June. Um... Like, later June, maybe, like, June 20th, maybe you can start getting some, like, spring training, too, which would take place in Philadelphia, most likely, according to Jim Salisbury of NBC Sports Philadelphia. That's what he had a report a couple days ago. Um, so he said spring training, too, would most likely be in the team's home stadiums, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, hopefully, we get broadcast from um, Tommy, Tom, Tom, I'm blanking on his name, John Crook. Oh, what is the name? Okay, that's... Hopefully it'll be broadcasted if we ever do that. The point today is all the other sports leagues have a current return date. Um, the Sixers are expected to return July 31st in Orlando, Florida. Um, the NHL is supposed to resume like mid-July, around that same time as the NBA. Um, and these baseball players, they're too worried about losing a couple dollars... And they still haven't come to an agreement. It's a shame. It really is. America needs them. And they're too focused on losing a couple couple million. I hate to say that, but it's true. It really is. Um, so make sure you guys like and comment on this video. Share with your amigos. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my boys.